Well, hello there, my YouTube gang. What's up? It's Johnny Versity again. And today I want to make another video, and it's probably going to be one of the last ones regarding LGBT rights around the world. And I'm going to divide this video to four different topics. The first one is going to be about the massive collaboration video that I did thanks to you guys out there who contributed your time, your face, your voice and everything else. And what was interesting to note was that not only the response was worldwide, but also it crossed political stands. And to see all those people there together, join hands and collaborate and trying to voice out their feelings about the last move the UN did is just overwhelming. It really makes me think maybe we still have a chance after all. The second point I want to make is about the United Nations itself. Now, I'm not going to go on and on about it. I'll probably make another video about the UN itself, but really basically just to sum it up, the most ridiculous thing that you can do is let non-democratic nations to have the power to vote in a democratic way. I mean, come on, doesn't it strike anyone as, uh, I don't know, completely stupid? Ugh, fucking hell. Okay, and now I have a little message to the Arab and Muslim world. Now, you know, I want you, all Arabs and Muslims out there that actually endorse and sanction the killing of LGBTs and discriminating against them. I want you to imagine how your country would look with someone like this. Yep, Alexander the Great was a homosexual. And maybe you just killed your own Alexander the Great, which might at some point actually lead you to winning a war. Anywhere. And now another person, and this is a very interesting story and I want everyone to listen very closely and this one goes to everyone, west, east, north, south, doesn't matter which country you're from. There was this guy, Alan Turing. This guy is the father of modern computing, maybe you know his name from the term Turing machine. But not only did this guy basically invent computers as we know them today, but he actually devised the machine that broke the Enigma code. The Enigma code was the code used by the Nazis during World War II, and Alan Turing built the computer that broke the code. Now, I'm not gonna exaggerate and say that without him, the Allies would have lost the war, but at least I can tell you that this guy has saved more lives than any racist, bigoted, homophobe out there ever did in the entire history of humanity. Now this guy actually ended up committing suicide because back in the 50s being a homosexual was against the law in the United Kingdom and they forced him taking hormonal treatment for the disease he had. But in any case I want you Arab and Muslim countries out there to imagine what a man like this could have done for you. And now my last point, and this one actually goes specifically to people living in Western countries. There is a very interesting list in Wikipedia, and it's under an article titled LGBT rights by country or territory. Okay. And I want you to take a look at that article, first of all because it has this shameful world map on it. And you know from all the different ways you have to look at the world map, this is probably one of the worst. But other than that, there's a list there. And you know, at first I wanted this list because I wanted to do a video about the discrimination around the world against LGBTs. And at first I thought that I'm gonna have, I don't know, a list of about maybe 10, 15 countries that really discriminate against LGBTs. What I found was a disgrace in a magnitude that I couldn't have imagined otherwise. It really made me scratch my head and think to myself, wait a minute, is this the 21st century? 
And since there is a limited amount of time for this video and a limited amount of real estate on this screen, I have to sum it up with a very, very short list of the countries that had green Vs in all the criteria that was mentioned in the table. If you live in any of these countries, you can at least be proud of your country for this. Now, what I want you to do is go look at that list, see where your country is standing. And if you're living in a democratic country, next time there's an election, make sure these issues are taken care of. Because we can scream and shout as much as we like about the third world and about religion and about the United Nations. But if there's anything that I could regard this whole damn thing with the United Nations as a blessing in disguise is that it surfaced all the problems that went under the public radar. So just take a look at the list and see what you can do in your own country. And that's it for now. So like always, my beloved YouTube community, peace, love, harmony. Have a good one. I love you people. I really, really do. Thanks for everything. You're awesome.